So a uh, couple of big picture themes that came out of our discussion. We first talked about the country survey results um, on the, um, the NCPs and most in part had domestic funding um, and, and virtually all had um, certainly some levels of awareness and um, the advocacy um, elements that we um, care about, but at the same time, virtually all of them um, uh, voiced in a need for increased domestic funding, especially WASH funding was elevated as a, as a big need. Um, the health sector funding and roads um, have made it in roads, but um, on the vaccine side, but the WASH side um, seems to be lagging. Um, so we then shifted to a conversation about cholera um, and how do we use the momentum that, I'm sorry, on COVID and how that, um, how we can increase the momentum that is being generated around WASH um, and COVID and, um, and take advantage of that for cholera. Um, there was discussion about um, mapping, cholera hotspot mapping and where COVID overlap um, and IHME resources could be helpful to uh, in the development of country profiles to talk about um, kind of um, return investment for some of these hotspot areas to address both. Um, and uh, Zimbabwe brought up an example where they were responding to COVID and, uh, and readying for preparedness for cholera at the same time ahead of the rainy season. At the global level, we talked about how we're positioning WASH as a long-term solution, again, um, with COVID and this core message of build back better. Um, and the hand hygiene for all initiative was elevated as an opportunity to bridge to cholera. The initiative has 10 focus countries identified and there might be an overlap for the cholera focused countries as well. Um, we also talked a little bit about the need for clear and straightforward messaging on WASH because um, you know, vaccines are sort of a simple, easy tool to communicate uh, about and measure, um, but WASH is sort of this bucket for water sanitation and hygiene. And uh, we could use a little bit more specificity in how we talk about it at the donor and country level. So in terms of some of the concrete action items, um, actually very similar to the first group, um, adding ministries of finance and ministries of water to the national conversations, given that these structures are a way to ensure sustainability beyond election cycles. There's a need for a stated need for country specific investment cases, as well as a more structured way to identify costing gaps and the sanitation water for all partnership has a wash costing tool that could be a helpful resource here. Um, there's a need for GTFCC support with developing advocacy plans as part of the NCPs in addition to uh, technical resources. As I mentioned, uh, simple, clear messaging on the elements of WASH that we're talking about. Um, and again, positioning WASH as a long-term need uh, and linking to other agendas with, such as emergency preparedness um, and certainly taking advantage of the momentum around COVID. I'm happy to get additions from the group that I may have missed, but that's all from me.